Hey there, animal lovers. Today we're talking about something small but mighty. Eye worms. No, not the kind that say eye eye captain. These little critters are also called thalazia. They're tiny worms that can cause big problems for our furry friends on the farm. These worms are sneaky. They like to hang out in the eyes of animals. Gross, right? But it's important to know about them if you have livestock. Eye worms are found all over the world. They don't care if you're in a big city or a small town. These worms are equal opportunity troublemakers. They can affect all kinds of animals. Cows, horses, sheep, goats, even our beloved dogs and cats aren't safe. By the end of this, you'll be an eye worm expert. All right, let's talk about how these little worms get around. It's like a weird game of tag, but with flies and eyes. Yep, you heard that right. Flies are the main culprits in spreading eye worms. They're like tiny, annoying taxis for these worms. Here's how it works. Adult eye worms live in an animal's eyes. These worms lay eggs. The eggs come out in the animal's tears. Then a fly comes along for a snack. It eats the tears with the eggs. Inside the fly, the eggs turn into baby worms. Now this fly is carrying around baby worms. It lands on another animal's face. The baby worms crawl into the animal's eyes. There, they grow up into adult worms, and the cycle starts all over again. This whole process takes about three to four weeks. Now let's talk about what happens when these worms set up shop in an animal's eyes. It's not a pretty picture, folks. These worms aren't just hanging out. They're causing all sorts of trouble. First off, these worms irritate the eyes. It's like having sand in your eye, but worse. The animals might blink a lot or rub their eyes against things. Their eyes can get red and swollen. Sometimes there's a lot of tears. It's like the animal is crying all the time. In some cases, the worms can damage the eye. They can scratch the surface of the eye. This can lead to ulcers or even blindness if it's not treated. But it's not just about the eyes. These worms can make animals feel really bad. They might not want to eat as much. They could lose weight. Section 4. Spotting the sneaky worms, signs of infection. Okay, now that we know these worms are bad news, how do we spot them? Don't worry, you don't need a magnifying glass or detective skills. There are some clear signs to watch out for. The first thing you might notice is eye problems. The animal's eyes might look red or swollen. There could be a lot of tears or discharge. It's like they're having a really bad allergy day. You might see the animal rubbing its eyes against things more than usual. They're trying to get rid of that itchy feeling. Sometimes, you can actually see the worms. If you look closely at the animal's eye, you might see tiny, thread-like worms moving around. They're usually white or light-colored. Other signs to watch for are changes in behavior. The animal might not want to eat as much. They could seem more tired than usual. If you notice these signs, it's time to call the vet. Section 5. Bye-bye eye worms, control and prevention. All right, now for the good stuff. How do we kick these worms to the curb? Don't worry, it's not as hard as you might think. With a little effort, we can send these worms packing. First things first, if you think your animal has eye worms, call your vet. They can confirm if it's really eye worms and give the right treatment. Usually, this involves some special eye drops or ointments. These medicines kill the worms and help the eye heal. Prevention is key. Remember those pesky flies that spread the worms? We need to keep them away. Use fly traps around your farm. Keep the area clean and dry. Flies love dirty, wet places. By keeping things clean, we're making the flies look for a new home. Another important step is regular checkups. Look at your animal's eyes often. Catch any problems early. Section 6. You've got this. Keeping your animals happy and healthy. Well, folks, we've been on quite a journey through the world of eye worms. Who knew such tiny creatures could cause such big problems? But don't worry, you're now armed with knowledge. You're ready to take on these wriggly troublemakers. Remember, the key is to stay vigilant. Keep an eye on your animal's eyes. Regular checkups can make a big difference. Don't forget about fly control. Those flies are the real culprits here. By keeping them away, you're breaking the cycle. Most importantly, don't panic if you do spot these worms. You've got this. You know the signs, you know what to do. Call your vet, follow their advice, and your animals will be back to their happy, healthy selves in no time. So go out there and show those eye worms who's boss. Your animals are counting on you.